Good morning, everyone. This is your host, Trishikesh Soranke from third year electrical engineering department. Welcomes you all to the first lecture of Urja Talk series organized by training and placement sale in association with Department of Electrical Engineering. Urja Talk is an initiative of Department of Electrical Engineering to bridge the gap between students and alumni and to make students aware about career opportunities and industry exposure. SGGS training and placement sale has been established for the first time to have active participation from the student side. The sale undergoes various activities like coordinating placement drives, organizing webinars, conducting workshops, training programs, and creating awareness among students regarding available career options and help them in identifying their career objectives. Now, today's lecture is on the topic preparation strategies and career opportunities after the GATE exam. To throw light on the topic, we have an amazing speaker with us today. He is our alumni of batch 2020 and is graduate in electrical engineering. He has successfully cleared the GATE examination with All India Rank 954. He is currently pursuing MTech in microelectronics and VLSI from IIT Hyderabad. Now, without further ado, I now welcome Mr. Prasad Khote, sir, to address all of us by his words of wisdom. Thank you very much, uh, Rishikesh. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to uh, ask uh, Mr. Saurabh that uh, I'm seeing the attendees. Uh, Prasad, wait a minute. Your voice is not audible clearly. Could you, uh, please keep your mic near to you. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, uh, is it uh, audible now, sir? No, I think Rushikesh. Uh, yes, uh, Prasad sir is audible. But not as... Uh, uh, yes, yeah, uh, their voice is too much less. Uh, your voice is less, Prasad. Yeah, I will, I will try to uh, uh, means, uh, talk in, uh, loud. Uh, uh, am I audible, sir, uh, right now? Is it uh, clear? Uh, because I, I'm using a very, uh, uh, the, I'm using the Toshiba laptop and it's a uh, audio setting. It's not uh, that much good compatible with the newer versions. Uh, so uh, when uh, in the demo meet, uh, we checked with it, but uh, we were not able to solve that. Hello, sir. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Rushikesh, uh, your voice was very clear and audible, but I can't hear Prasad clearly. Is it the same case with all? Could you please confirm, Rushikesh? Uh, I think no, sir, because yesterday we have also same uh, same difficulty. We have checked. Same issue? The, yes, sir. In demo lecture, uh, Prasad sir's voice is quite less. Okay, okay. Uh, Prasad, are you the uh, uh, what are uh, you are using microphone or system microphone? External microphone or system laptop microphone? Hello, Saurabh, is there an option? Uh, sir, uh, the microphone uh, that sir is using is compatible with uh, Webex, but uh, it is having uh, old version. So I think uh, the voice setting is adjusted automatically by the laptop. Okay. 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 No problem. Uh, let's continue then. If uh, audience is clear with that, no problem. Yes, you can start enable the chat and you can ask to our uh, audience. Are they able to uh, uh, listen or understand? Audience, please reply and chat. Okay, Prasad, please continue. Hey, Prasad, sir, you can continue or they are able to hear you. Yeah. Okay, yes, yes. Okay, no problem. Continue, please.
हेलो प्रसाद सर वेट मिनट आई विल ट्राई टू कांटेक्ट a quick note for attendees you can have your question asked in the chat box and after the session uh, the questionnaires will be asked to prasad sir should uh, decide our goal formally because uh, uh, one should not be confused with uh, uh, rushkesh the same problem is going on again sir try oh, sorry, to mute, mute, try to mute your one device mic uh, first of all we should uh, decide our goal formally because uh, one should not be confused about the uh, different career options uh, available with us uh, there can be the gate uh, esc uh, cat civil services or any kind of exam we want to prepare in our uh, engineering days uh, one should be uh, having a firm goal with him or her uh, because uh, i know some of my uh, colleagues uh, they were preparing for some uh, exams uh, like uh, they were preparing for bank but uh, suddenly they uh, switched to civil services uh, they switched to uh, gate exam but uh, because of that uh, their preparation strategy was uh, hampered and uh, for that uh, we should uh, decide our goal firmly first of all and uh, for that uh, we need uh, some uh, parameter to decide uh, which goal we want to follow there is a, a famous acharya a chanakya three point criteria for that to take any important decisions in our life uh, uh for it it is applicable to all the uh, what we can say uh, all the parameters in our life it can be uh, taken in any life example uh, if you want to purchase house anything uh, you want to take an important decision about life first one why do you want to do it the uh, interest hello yes sir yes sir you are audible yes uh, why do you want to do it that that should be the first uh, uh, point that should be the first question you should ask yourself uh, you want to pursue your higher education uh, from iits or nits that's why you are uh, preparing for gate or you want to pursue some uh, uh, masters degree in uh, management uh, that's why you want to prepare for cat uh, you want to become a civil servant officer uh, that's why you are preparing for civil services that the motto why do you want to prepare for that it should be clear should be uh, pan clear uh, then the second point that comes uh, what will be the effects we should uh, take into the consideration the positive effects also and uh, as well as the negative effects uh, while preparing for any of such uh, prestigious exams like uh, uh, cat or gate the positive effects will be uh, you will be going to uh, get a good college or settle down if you prepare very uh, good if you achieve that target uh will not talk about the discuss about the positive effects there will be a uh, greenery uh if you achieve that uh, but the negative effects like uh, if you if you are preparing for cat you may uh you may not go with the uh, technical subjects which are being taught in the semesters uh that's why some many people uh, prefer gate or cat or any other exam while uh, preparing for gate you can uh, start with the uh, technical subjects which are being taught in the uh, semester itself and you can uh, prepare for the end sem and um, mid sems of uh, our universities uh, 
right mm-hmm. and uh, the next question you should ask yourself will i be able to do it because uh, th- this is uh, also one of the important question but uh, uh, as from uh, our alumni uh, many of our uh, alumni uh, they have been to the iits iams and uh, many other uh, they have cracked the many other uh, prestigious exams so uh, as far as uh, the level of uh, uh, hgs is concerned so uh, this question is not that much relevant because uh, anyone uh, who is uh, preparing uh, thoroughly and uh, preparing uh, smartly he can or he or she can uh, easily uh, to easily achieve his or her target so these are the three point criteria uh, if uh, uh, you want to uh, take the screenshot or want to capture the uh, image uh, you can uh, capture it because it will be uh, very much important uh, for uh, taking any kind of decisions most important decisions in your life you you can uh, easily ask these three questions to yourself and you will be getting the solution within uh, 10 to 15 minutes next uh, I'll, the most important question when to start the preparation uh, as per any competitive exam is concerned uh, it is always better to start uh, early because uh, uh, all these com- competitive exams they uh, consume a lot of time and a lot of energy uh, investment is uh, required there so it's always better uh, there is a one a verse in uh, a proverb in english also early bird catches the worm so as early as you start that will be always uh, beneficial for your uh, preparation of get uh, but i will say most possibly you should uh, start it in the third uh, beginning of your third year of engineering in the uh, fifth semester because um, in uh, if you start from a uh, second year or first year you might be uh, confused about that uh, which exam you want to go with uh, as i told earlier you uh, you should de- decide your goal firmly uh, you should be you should not be confused with the uh, available career options so uh, i think the uh, beginning of the third year is uh, quite suitable and comfortable uh, to start any uh, competitive exam and uh, in second year you should uh, start with the common parts like uh, apt and mathematics because uh, whenever if we if you are not sure about the which exam you want to uh, prepare let's say uh, in the in second year you said that you want to prepare for cat exam but uh, suddenly at the end of second year uh, you said that you, you are saying i uh, i want to prepare for get so uh, this apt and maths part is going to be the common part in any of the uh, competitive exam this will be asked either in get uh, in cat or in uh, civil services also uh, the apt and mathematics will be asked so uh it is better if you uh, start from uh, means if you complete your apt and uh, maths in second year uh, this common parts and uh from first year and second year itself uh, one should not uh, immediately start up with uh, uh, technical subjects or uh, uh, any kind of uh, competitive exams uh, seriously because in the first year or second year we are not that much uh, matured or we can uh, cannot take the uh, decisions uh, properly so uh, we may end up with some uh, amount of frustration or stress uh, so uh, it's always preferable that we should uh, start with the third year of engineering and uh, the first year uh, we should involve in uh, some first year uh, extracurricular activities just like uh, learning uh, some uh, foreign language arranged by t cube cell like a uh, german language uh, uh, is being taught in our college by TQ, uh, in coordination with tcube cell or you can uh, participate in uh, pragya sankalpa like that and uh, in, uh, second year one should be uh, should strictly involve in some uh, co curricular activities because uh, just like uh, doing matlab course uh, is very beneficial in uh, uh, some some of the way of practicals in uh, control system design signal systems so uh, and getting the certificates from uh, very good institutes like uh, vanderbilt university or uh, nptel will be beneficial for you in the uh, campus placements uh, and uh, off campuses also so uh, 
doing the co-curricular activities in second year or a third year it's a uh, very good i am myself uh, along with my colleagues uh, shana khosa and uh, aniruddha pingle we did uh, the uh, matlab course from uh, coursera which is given by the uh, vanderbilt university so uh, we were having that uh, strong part in matlab next slide comes uh, the uh, resources required for effective self study uh if if we want to start with some a self study if we don't want to go for a coaching and uh, anything uh, some uh, now the uh, nowadays uh, online coaching are available uh, very easily so if you don't want, if you want to start with self study uh, how, how should we uh, prepare what resources should we have that's the first question in uh, mind of every candidate uh, so the standard books we know that the standard books like uh, ps bimbra jb gupta they are always good they the concepts we, we should study from standard books itself but the major blunder major major um, what we can say uh, problem comes there the uh, topics there are given are very much scattered uh, we'll find some topic of uh, related to machines uh, transformer on the uh, page number 50 uh, in ps bimbra and the same topic uh, in uh, the next topic in the gate syllabus it can be find on the page number 79 and uh, like that so uh, we need to do some extra hard work for that and uh, that may be a time consuming because uh, it covers uh, concept from a masters and phd level also which is not at all required for the basic uh, uh, concerned in a gate exam so uh, for that to overcome such problem uh, we should focus on the postal package of the uh, academies uh, coaching centers which uh, have the experience vast experience in teaching uh, gate and esc uh, from very long, long time It's like i would like to say uh, prefer made easy postal package because uh, made easy postal package is one of the best uh, postal package i have ever seen uh, i have seen uh, postal packages of ace academy gate academy gate forum uh, of my colleagues but uh, they were not that much effective and uh, uh, not that much efficient because uh, uh, they were very short we need uh, some detailed theory theoretical and uh, problematic uh, postal package to study with so uh, as compared to the other academies of uh, postal package medici postal package is designed very much preciously uh, efficiently and uh, it should be taken into the consideration and uh, many of our colleagues uh, when uh, we were studying uh, i have i had one colleague uh, mr suhas gangare he is working in uh, currently working in wellspun power as a, a graduate engineer trainee uh, he he was saying that uh, uh, why should we purchase any postal package in uh, third year uh, we will uh, go to uh, s academy crash course in the end of third year and we'll get the postal pack uh, the study material there and we'll uh, start there itself but uh, uh, your uh, study study will be hampered there because uh, i you, you will be using the uh, standard books in the third year and the uh, topics will be scattered and that will cause you the uh, um, time that will be time consuming so uh, you should purchase the medici postal package that is not that much costlier and uh, you should have the uh, latest gate syllabus on your uh, hard copy it should be uh, preferably a uh, color print with the uh, plastic lamination uh, why plastic lamination because uh, we can uh, keep it in any uh, of the register or notebook and uh, it, it can be safe because uh, uh, you cannot uh, again and again uh, print out uh, the same hard copy because it might be uh, damaged by something by dust or anything it can be so uh preferably in color print with the plastic lamination for the uh, protective purpose but you should have always have the latest uh, gate syllabus copy with you and uh, you should uh, start with the uh, which uh, topic is in there in the postal package because uh, in postal package also uh, the 10 to 20% of the uh, syllabus will not be related to gate so uh, you should uh, identify which topic uh, is not there in uh, our gate exam 
So this uh, latest get syllabus copy is also required. It's uh, one of the important resources we should have. And uh, the next most important topic uh, we should have is the practice material. Though we we need a lot of practice material. Uh, that's uh, I can tell you uh, this some of the books like S bits and bytes. Uh, it's consisting of uh, 2,200 questions. It's having a uh, volume one and volume two. And um, Made easy 3,500 questions uh, book comes uh, by Made easy publication. So yeah, it's very good. And uh, if you have purchased the uh, postal package itself, uh, you will get automatically a Made easy workbook there. Uh, and Made easy workbook problems and um, Made easy 3,500 problems, they will be entirely different. Uh, they will not uh, be same. The level of the their questions in workbook and 3,500 questions, they will be level will be same but the questions will not repeat and you should have all these uh, resources with you this uh, 3500 plus uh, 2200 that means uh, 5700 questions and some uh, 1000 uh, made easy workbook questions so uh, 6700 questions total as as means uh, what you practice as uh, long you practice you will be able to solve the problems and uh, you will be able to get the better rank in the gate exam uh, because uh, you might have seen uh, some people, uh, they study very hard, they uh, study um, days and nights, but uh, still they uh, don't uh, they don't get the uh, desired rank because they uh, practice very little less question. They practice only uh, PYQ, previous year question, that's it. They will practice again that only. Uh, you should start with the practice material and should uh, uh, start uh, you should uh, try with uh, on your own you should not uh, go with the uh, solutions you should uh, practice first on your uh, on yourself uh, try to complete uh, the, uh, try to get the solution on yourself only and then if you are not getting the solution you can have a uh, look at the solution page also next uh, the sticky notes and highlighter pen sticky notes is required uh, sticky notes is kind of uh, a pamphlet or a small page with uh, some uh, sticky glue uh, on the one side you can use it uh, for uh, some marks uh, as a sign marks uh, for particular section or particular page you can attach there you want to uh, highlight that uh, special part uh, like in machines you want to uh, learn about the uh, leakage reactance and you want to mark that you can just uh, attach the sticky notes on that page and uh, you will be able to find out that uh, very easily. And the highlighter pen is uh, required in any competitive exam. Uh, for uh, clearing the difficult concepts, we, uh, we require some uh, guidance, we require some uh, mentor. Uh, for that, in, uh, now it is uh, everything is going online. So, the online lectures will be very much preferable, I think. Uh, and uh, there is one uh, coaching institute called Creatrix Academy. It's uh, now the subsidiary of an academy uh, uh, for double E and EC people. If you are not getting any uh, difficult concept, you can uh, watch the their YouTube videos uh, are available on YouTube. You can uh, clear the concepts there. And if you are from a CSC background, then you can uh, put Ravindra. You can search about the uh, Ravindra Babu Raula. Uh, he is the very famous tutor of uh, Gate CSE. Uh, if you are from CSE background, uh, you can uh, clear the difficult concepts from his video lectures. Uh, for WE and EC people, the Ankit Goel sir is best. Uh, he is the founder of Creatrix. He'll uh, take care of all the uh, clearing all the difficult concepts. And uh, if still the uh, doubts prevail, you can ask our um, PhD instrumentation uh, sirs. Uh, it's, um, uh, those who are doing a PhD or uh, those uh, like Professor Padil sir, Professor Chandan sir, you can ask them, sir, I'm not getting this. Uh, can you please explain? They will uh, help you explain all these things. And uh, I'm just considering that uh, you are in third year and uh, you have started your uh, preparation with the fifth semester and um, you are going you are going to complete uh, your subjects uh, uh, day by day and so uh, you need the topic wise test series and uh, 
for uh, just checking the knowledge of that subject uh, as given I, I have written here gate academy because the gate academy is the only academy that offers a separate topic wise test a separate subject wise test separate uh, test package separate multiple subject test uh, for each and every uh, branch since uh, if you go to any uh, prestigious institute like uh, ace academy or medici academy they will say uh, by complete test package that will consist of uh, full length test multiple subject test and all the kinds of stuff but uh, in the gate academy you are having that uh, choice uh, in the third year you don't need to buy entire whole package of the test series that's why um, the topic uh, topic wise test for the topic wise test you need to uh, prefer gate academy because you will be getting uh, the pre precise the concise topic wise test uh, for that uh, particular subject for um, I mean say uh, there are 12 subjects in gate so the, for 12 subjects there will be 24 tests gate academy uh, topic wise tests are uh, preferred for a uh, testing purpose only while if you come in final year then you need to purchase the complete test package that will consist of full length test all the subject tests multiple subject tests and uh, topic wise tests obviously uh, and it should be from S Academy or Medici Academy because these are the only two giants which offer, uh, which offer the good quality test series. Uh, the uh, quality of the tests they give, they provide, it's uh, really amazing. And uh, we'll say uh, join S Academy test series because uh, it's uh, level of the questions asked in the uh, S Academy test series. There are uh, 10 to 20 percent above the gate exam, just a little bit above the gate exam. And uh, while if you talk about the made easy test series, it's a very, 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 really, very tough. It's uh, very much tougher than Ace Academy uh, test series. It's uh, really tougher than uh, even most difficult uh, gate exam ever set. So uh, if you uh, if you are thinking that I'm filling the uh, gate level questions or S Academy questions uh, easy, then even then only you can start with the uh, made easy test series. Otherwise, uh, I will say you should start uh, with the test package of S Academy. When you are in final year, the, uh, these uh, two uh, test packages are preferred. Uh, don't go with the Gate Academy test package in uh, final year. Now, the most important question is how to prepare, how to, what should be my preparation strategy to uh, prepare any uh, exam like Gate. So, it is uh, this uh, preparation strategy is applicable to any kind of uh, a competitive exam you want to uh, study, whether it be a uh, gate or CAT, anything. But I will uh, talk about the gate, uh, gate exam only. So uh, you have the, I, I consider that you have bought the made easy postal package with you. And uh, now you just buy the 12 uh, good quality registers with you uh, for 12 subjects. Now start, uh, start with one subject, let's start with the uh, network analysis and uh, now uh, from the made easy postal package you are uh, writing down some uh, full notes on your uh, register, you are uh, get, uh, getting the under, uh, your uh, concepts clear, you are understanding the concepts, you are uh, reading the theory and all the things from the postal package, now you are uh, preparing your full notes on the register. You, uh, once you have completed all your full notes, uh, all the required concepts you have write, write down because uh, uh, writing down the things makes you remember for a long time. That's why I'm uh, saying that uh, you should also prepare uh, full notes along with your uh, postal package given. So after preparing the full notes, one should uh, prepare the short notes like uh, 40 to 50 pages per subject, uh, it's mandatory because uh, once you have created your full notes, you are not going to revise those of uh, uh, big, big textbooks or big, big uh, notebooks or register at the last time when you will be uh, facing, uh, when there will be the seven, sub seven days remaining uh, at the last time of the gate exam. Uh, you cannot go through all these uh, subjects, 12 subjects uh, through your full notes. So you need some uh, short notes of the, uh, which will be uh, considering, uh, which will be having some uh, very important concepts written there. Uh, just like, a, it should be only 50, 40 to 50 pages per subject. Once you create that, uh, let's say uh, we have also a K notes. 
Gratrix nodes. They are also very good. You can, uh, uh, for electrical or EC people, you can uh, download it from uh, Google site, from Creatrix site. You can get the K notes very easily in the PDF form. You can uh, get it print. And uh, after that, uh, there is a, actually many, more than 50% concepts are uh, uh, covered itself in the uh, K notes as a short notes. And uh, in the given space, if you think that there's some uh, topics or some concepts are not uh, covered by keynotes, you can uh, start writing there at that uh, free space, and just given the ad pro as provided by the creatrix. So you can uh, start uh, and uh, you can prepare your own notes along with the keynotes. And the same after preparing the short notes, you should also prepare some formula sheets. Uh, like you know, formula sheets, uh, we can say. Um, we, we we have some practicals we we did some practicals uh, during our engineering days like uh, we were having a M, we used to write the m theory uh, circuit diagram on the practical pages that uh, uh, one page was a blank and one page was uh, ruled so uh, you can take the, those pages also uh, and you should write down all the required formulas uh, means a formula for leakage reactants uh, um, there are many formulas in uh, power electronics uh, for bug boost converter, bug converter, or inverter. You can uh, make make the formula sheet for every subject and uh, make it uh, stapled or make it in the bunch or store in the file. These formula sheets will help you at the last time when you will be having the uh, uh, last seven days or let's say you are giving the full length test. At that time, these are short notes and formula sheets. This will be very, very helpful for you uh, because you cannot go through uh, the full notes at that time. Now, uh, while preparing the, your full notes, short notes, and uh, formula sheets, you might be facing some doubts. You might be getting uh, many doubts. And these doubts are uh, required to be covered. They, they need to be covered. So uh, for that, GradeUp platform is a very good platform. Uh, you just need to uh, download the app of GradeUp and uh, you need to sign in there and uh, choose the uh, preference uh, exams you want to prepare, uh, like GET, GET exam, ESE exam, uh, BARC exam, ISRO exam, or any kind of, you can choose many exams there. And uh, you just need to post down your doubt and uh, the different mentors uh, or different uh, pass out students uh, uh, working in uh, uh, good companies, working in uh, uh, PSUs, uh, they will be there to help you out of this doubt. So I, in the, within the two to three days, your uh, doubt will be cleared. Uh, I, I can guarantee that. Uh, the GradeUp platform is one of the good platforms. And there are some FB groups also, active FB groups like uh, uh, Gate Academy, EE or AC or IN. Gate Academy FB group is there. So uh, whenever you post something, some, some of your colleagues and peers, they will uh, answer, the, answer your doubts. They can clear, they can help you clearing uh, your doubt. And there are some uh, WhatsApp groups also. Uh, during my preparation days, uh, I didn't use uh, WhatsApp groups, but uh, uh, I, I know that there are WhatsApp groups for uh, doubt clearing. And uh, once I, once uh, you have cleared all your doubts, you have prepared, uh, you have prepared all your notes, full notes, short notes, formula sheets, you have cleared all your doubts, you need to properly revise that subject. I'm just considering, I'm giving this uh, strategy for one subject only and the same strategy you need to apply for the another subject uh, which you want to prepare after uh, completion of this subject. So uh, you have cleared all your doubts. So uh, now you need to properly revise all the concepts, all the uh, important topics, all the theory related part of that subject and you need to co complete uh, the proper revision. After the proper revision, you need to practice the, uh, the, the entire that I of S bits and bytes, all these three books, uh, these two books and uh, this third one, third one, it will be with uh, it will be provided with the postal package itself you need to buy these uh, two books s bits and bytes and uh, made easy 3500 questions uh, 
for every subject there will be uh, more than 200 or 300 questions will be there in uh, made easy plus s so uh, you need to practice practice a lot that's why uh, makes uh, the practice makes the difference uh, between uh, getting the rank and uh, just uh, clearing the gate exam that because uh, you you may see you need a lot of uh, practice you you might have seen uh, many uh, many people those who have studied a lot lot but uh, still still uh, they were not able to achieve the required desired rank that's why because uh, they have revised lot many times but they have not uh, practiced new new questions uh, uh, that are designed just like the gate level so uh, you need to practice that once you have practiced all these questions, uh, just like uh, from S Academy, uh, Bits and Bytes, Made Easy 3500, you should uh, start with the PYQ, the previous year questions, previous year uh, questions, so that you can actually get the idea of uh, what the gate exam uh, looks like. Uh, these uh, uh, Bits and Bytes and the Made Easy 3500 questions, uh, they, ca they, are, they, they are like gate exam, but they are not equal to the level of the gate exam asked. So, uh, previous year questions are the most important thing and once you have completed all this uh, proper revision you have done, you have uh, cleared all your doubts, you have practiced uh, lots of questions, now uh, you need to solve, you are in the, uh, I think you are, uh, I consider that you are in third year, so uh, you need to solve the topic wise test, as uh, I, I told that, Gate Academy 24 test, topic, uh, two tests, for each subject, so you need to solve the topic-wise test with the, uh, to check where I stand. Okay. So uh, where I stand, uh, what should I do to improve myself? To uh, okay, for that you need to solve the topic-wise test, and uh, after solving the topic-wise test, you need to make one mistake book. Uh, this mistake book is common for preparation of any kind of uh, exam. Let it be. Uh, gate, CAT, civil services, you should know where you are doing your mistake. You should uh, analyze your mistake and sh you should improve that mistake. And uh, once you have given the topic wise test one of that particular subject, you should create mistake book. Uh, mistake book, uh, let's say, give the name mistake book topic wise. Uh, you should analyze the uh, mistakes of topic wise uh, test one of that subject. And again, you should give the topic wise test number two and uh, you should uh, write down all the mistakes in that mistake book again and analyze the thing where I was wrong, why I committed that mistake, uh, what should I do, you should uh, analyze that and uh, once you have completed all these uh, two topic wise tests, uh, after that uh, you can start with the another subject, let's say uh, if you have prepared uh, the network analysis and you want to start with the control system, so you can start with the control system and uh, do the same same strategy. Uh, prepare the full notes, short notes, then formula sheets, and then uh, ask your doubts. While uh, you, you may get the doubts while preparing uh, any kind of uh, notes, let it be full notes, short notes, or formula sheets, anything. You should get your doubts cleared. Uh, by your uh, colleagues, by professors, by grade, by grade of, by big groups, by anything, but uh, your doubt should not be unclear. Then again, proper revision, uh, practice of that uh, second subject, practice the uh, questions of that second subject, again solve the topic wise test, analyze the mistakes, and again start with the third subject. Uh, repeat the loop, right? You need to repeat the loop. You need to start with the another third subject. When uh, you're starting, uh, after a completion of your three subjects, I say uh, you started with the first uh, network analysis, then you started with the second subject called a control system, you started with the third subject called uh, digital electronics, so you have completed these uh, three subsequent subjects. Now, uh, you need to revise the first subject you prepared called uh, network analysis through the uh, short notes uh, which I have given um, I had uh, written there uh, short notes or formula sheets because uh, you may forget the concepts you uh, studied before. You you need to revise them. You need to 
brush up them you need to brush up the concepts because uh, uh, these concepts can be easily uh, uh, gone off yeah and the uh, what the most important point we should remember while uh, preparing any uh, exam like gate i uh, should uh, complete the 10 subjects before the end of the 6 semester at least 10 subjects because uh, I, you need uh, extra time it's uh, quite uh, time consuming uh, as I, I earlier said that any exam is very much uh, time consuming you need to devote your uh, saturdays and sundays also uh, they can can't be treated as uh, holidays they should be working days so uh, you need to prepare the 10 subjects because uh, you need extra time in final year for the revision purpose for giving the multiple subject test for giving the uh, subject test or giving full length test all these things you need to do so 10 subjects at least you should, uh, it should be covered uh, before the end of sixth semester and uh, you make uh, yes uh, if if you want to uh, go for the s academy crash course like uh, many people uh, from our college do they, you can uh, join them also. I, I'm not again any institute or any academy. You can join any offline or online coaching as for your wish. Uh, there, uh, there is a two months crash course by S Academy. Uh, and that's uh, basically it's uh, designed for uh, revision purpose only. I think because they uh, will teach you 15 to 16 hours a day. Uh, they will uh, cover the concepts very fast, fast, fast. And uh, it's just like a revision course. So uh, you can revise your concepts of the 10 subjects there in uh, summer course of the S Academy for uh, two months. And uh, if suppose uh, I'm saying that uh, I'm considering that there are two remaining subjects with you, uh, left with you, which are uh, yet un unprepared. Uh, you can start with them uh, with the beginning of the final year. You can start with them with the same strategy, which I have told this strategy. Uh, full notes, short notes, formula sheets, doubts, revision, practice, topic wise test, mistakes. Again, again, uh, repeat the loop. So, uh, these uh, two subjects you can start with the final year also. And uh, with, with the same strategy, it should be. And after that, I consider that uh, if you have completed uh, your uh, two subjects and uh, you need to go on with the uh, revision and subject wise test i have not written i have not mentioned here the subject wise test but once you complete your uh, remaining subjects in final year you should go with the subject wise test of uh, s academy or made easy academy whatever is uh, suitable for you I, I i will say prefer s academy test series don't go for a made easy test series uh, but uh, you should start with the uh, subject wise test of s academy and you should revise again and again, again and again. And after that, before the four months, before the four months of the uh, final gate exam, uh, means uh, in, on 1st October, so 1st October 2021, I, I'm, I'm assuming you are preparing for uh, gate 2022. So uh, you need to do again the grand revision, revision and practice, revision and practice. These are the uh, most important things uh, in, uh, any any of the gate exam uh, any of the exams like uh, gate cat revision and practice so you should start with the grand revision grand revision it, it will take you uh, two months uh, from uh, if you start from 1st october 2021 and uh, it should be finished uh, before 1st december 2021 and uh, it should be prepared uh, means uh, you have done the grand revision you need to give the multiple subject test I, I, I assume that uh, there are the 12 subjects in GET. So uh, in multiple subject tests, what will happen? Uh, they will uh, combine the two subjects uh, and uh, make the one uh, 50 marks test. So in that, uh, you will be getting uh, six tests, uh, six multiple subject tests. Uh, once you do the grand revision of two subjects, give one multiple subject test as, as early as possible. Give uh, multiple subject tests. Uh, start with the another two subjects do the grand revision of those subjects and again uh, if you want to solve the practice uh, questions uh, you might ha not have visited it 
you can uh, solve the uh, those uh, not visited really unvisited questions and again give the multiple subject tests uh, in this manner th this two months you should do the grand revision and in the last two months uh, which are left uh, before the uh, in february i think uh, there is a gate exam so from 1st december to 1st feb so give uh, possible full length test you want to give uh, it's not compulsory you should complete all the full length test because uh, uh, it's it will be quite difficult to complete uh, all full length tests because uh, there are 24 full length such tests uh, given in uh, s academy if we are considering the s academy so uh, before two months of the actual gate exam uh, prepare the separate mistake book uh, that, that should be separate from uh, the mistake book the common mistake book of uh, topic wise test uh, subject wise test and uh, multiple subject test you can add uh, this uh, you can make the uh, common mistake book for uh, all these three tests but for uh, the full length test uh, 100 marks test will give so you need a uh, separate mistake book for that and uh, in the last two months you you should solve as many as possible not compulsory you should you should be uh, stress free at the last two months should give as possible as a full length test before your uh, actual gate exam and uh, write down all your mistakes why i i was wrong there why i committed the mistake the same mistake i committed in the in my uh, subject wise test also then why did i committed the same mistake here again in full length test it should not happen again and again so uh, you need to analyze the mistake book you uh, before uh, while giving the full length test also so in these two months uh, you need to give the full length test and in the last uh, seven days i'm assuming that the uh, on the 7th of february or 6th of february uh, there will be a uh, gate exam in uh, 2022 and it's just assumption so before seven days uh, don't study at all uh, just uh, go through some formula sheets or don't write test should not write test in these uh, seven days should uh, just uh, you should be calm you should be chill chillax uh, chillax rana chahiye last uh, seven days mein. so seven days you don't need to study anything you need to only uh, go through some uh, sheets and uh, need to go go through some short notes like that and uh, i want to uh, talk about what are the different opportunities after get this is what i talked uh, it's all about the preparation strategy would like to uh, cover up some uh, quick manner uh, th this is the most important how to prepare you should uh, prepare the subjects in this manner uh, first you uh, should create the full notes from postal package after that uh, because uh, you don't need to uh, you can't study uh, all these uh, big notes at the last moment you need to prepare the short notes of 40 to 50 pages per subject or you can use the k notes also and uh, after preparing the short notes you can also prepare the uh, formula sheets this is also required formula sheets and, uh, same uh, there will be some doubts you can ask doubts with your uh, uh, professors uh, credo fb groups colleagues peers anyone you should be cleared with it get proper revision practice revision practice this should be there you should uh, solve topic wise test multi multiple subject tests, all kind of tests you can uh, mistake book should be it is the most important uh, mistake book most uh, important to uh, prepare the mistake book and analyze it properly then this is the good preparation strategy i think and uh, once you complete the three subsequent subjects you should again revise the first subject which you prepared after completion of the three subsequent subjects you, you, uh, you need to prepare through uh, short notes only because uh, you might not be having some time what uh, these are the important uh, points which i have told you just now you don't need to study seven days before the exam because uh, whatever you are going to perform in those uh, three hours that will be completely dependent upon the state of mind uh, you are in that's uh, really very much important uh, 
I would uh, I would uh, like to talk about the uh, what are the opportunities uh, we have after GET. So uh, career opportunities with GET are we can go with the PSUs just like uh, IOCL, ONGC, HL, any any PSUs. Many PSUs used to recruit uh, from GET, but uh, due to this uh, COVID-19, um, uh, very few. PSC is uh, recruited last year also and uh, this year only uh, I think ONGC and uh, IOCL only uh, have released their notification. So uh, might be from your time uh, in 2022 or 23 there will be the lots of opportunities in PSUs because uh, uh, the vacancies are not fulfilled yet. Uh, the uh, unfilled vacancies they will be fulfilled uh, through gate 2022-2023. So uh, the PSS opportunities will be very high, and uh, the same with GET. You can uh, go with MTech or MS courses. Many of the people uh, misunderstand that that uh, the MS courses are available only in the uh, foreign universities. You can do uh, MS courses in the uh, foreign universities only, but uh, that's not true. You can do uh, MS courses, Master of Science courses, Master of Science by research in uh, good IITs like. Uh, IIC Bangalore, IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, IIT Madras, and IIT Kanpur. Three, these five IITs, they have the MS courses. Uh, this uh, this is just like a three years course, uh, MS by research. And uh, NIT Trichy, I think NIT Trichy is also having a MS course. These six institutes they, in India, they offer the MS course where the uh, foreign nationals, they can also apply, they can uh, also get into the MS courses. And uh, the uh, same is applied for Indian nationals also. Uh, you can also uh, go into the MS research. You, uh, but the MS research, it's a three years course. The curriculum will be uh, curriculum will be the same as com uh, as like the MTech course. But uh, in the third year only, uh, you need to publish some research paper. That's the difference. Uh, while placement opportunities, uh, MTech as well as MS, both both are same. Both MS and MTech are equivalent, but only difference is you need to publish extra research paper in MS and it will be the uh, three years course. While the MTech course, it will be a uh, two years course. But there is one more, uh, there is one more opportunity, uh, PGDI course is offered by uh, national Industrial uh, Institute of Technology, uh, NITI Mumbai. Uh, yes, National uh, Industrial Institute. Yeah. So it's a, a postgraduate diploma in industrial engineering course. It's uh, just like a combination of uh, some management stuff uh, along with uh, some technical uh, skills or something is like that. But you will be placed with uh, very good companies in uh, PGDI as a management trainee. Uh, the many companies visit uh, NITI Mumbai. Uh, you will be, uh, I think uh, their average package is uh, 20 lakhs. Yes, uh, the PGDI course is also one of the great options. And uh, there is uh, career opportunities without GET also. Uh, PSUs like uh, Coal India Limited, Hindustan uh, Petroleum Corporation Limited, HAL, these PSUs, uh, they recruit without GET. They conduct uh, some of their exams. Uh, this, uh, this year, HPCL conducted uh, uh, their own exam. And uh, last year, I think uh, Coal India come up with uh, some uh, 1,200 vacancies for uh, uh, engineers, and uh, uh, they conducted their uh, separate exams. So uh, without gate also, if you are having the technical glitch, uh, technical uh, abilities, then uh, you can uh, go with these uh, PSUs, you can write their exams and uh, get into the uh, these PSUs, prestigious PSUs. There are some government labs, so like ISRO, DRDO, PARC. Uh, these labs, uh, there are, ISRO is a prestigious uh, organization. Uh, they also conduct uh, some, uh, miss, they also uh, recruit some vacancies through GATE exam, but uh, actually they also conduct their own exam for recruitment of uh, remaining vacancies uh, like PARC. Uh, while ISRO and DRDO, uh, uh, they conduct their own exam. They don't recruit through uh, GATE exam. You can uh, give the ISRO exam, DRDO exam, as per their vacancies, uh, as per their notification is uh, released. Uh, you can uh, you have the uh, career opportunities with these uh, great uh, organizations. 
and there are a state electricity board you can work as a assistant engineer or a junior engineer in uh, state discoms uh, state transmission state generation and uh, from last 2 to 3 years uh, the any of the uh, recruitment is not going on so similarly uh, in the, uh, like in the case of uh, psus the state electricity boards are uh, it's uh, quite probable that uh, they will uh, will probably recruit many engineers they will uh, release many vacancies uh, so the job opportunity with the state electricity board as a assistant engineer uh, or junior engineer is a very good uh, opportunity you can uh, do the mtech in uh, mtech from private in universities like uh, bits filani uh, they're they're having campuses in what bangalore uh, sorry bits uh, filani campus bilani hyderabad goa and uh, there are triple it's also uh, they conduct their own exam and uh, uh, their level of exam they conduct uh, it's not uh, that much high they are having a very uh, less level as compared to the gate exam and uh, these are very good institutes with very good placements uh, and uh, uh, very good packages but uh, my uh, personal suggestion to all of you is that uh, if you are doing uh, i am take from private near cities like uh, bits filani or triple it's uh, with uh, you do it in uh, blsi field because uh, their fees will be uh, very much higher 10 lakhs or 10 12 lakhs but uh, in uh, uh, core fields like uh, power system or power electronics uh, they might not have uh, the good placements i think uh, bits filani and uh, triple it's in power system and power electronics but in the blsi and computer science field uh, they have really good placements i i have heard from uh, many seniors there and our many seniors alumni are also studying uh, they have passed out from uh, the uh, triple it's so uh, doing mtech in blsi and i'm taking uh, computer science if you are from uh, it background or cs background then uh, it is very good institute uh, because uh, its fees is very high so um, that fees should not be wasted that's my point and uh, you also have the career opportunities in indian military uh, there is ssc technical entry in indian army uh, it happens uh, two times every year uh, you can uh, they need the engineers with technical abilities in indian army they recruit the uh, uh, engineers for a short service scheme uh, in indian army they uh, and uh, same is the case with uus navy it's a university entry scheme in indian navy uh, and it it will happen uh, only one time once you pass out you are in the final year you will be given the opportunity and after that uh, you may not be able to uh, join it means um, you might not be given the opportunity in the next year or like that and uh, indian navy personnel used to come to our campus when uh, in uh, 2020 or 2019 uh, you had the opportunities with this uh, two prestigious organizations uh, there are many uh, career opportunities in merchant navy also many of us uh, don't know about that uh, there is a, a post called electro technical officer many of us know that the merchant navy is only for uh, uh, naval studies people marine people mechanical people but that is not the fact uh, they, there is a one uh, it's quite new uh, in 2015 or 2016 they have started these courses uh, as a electro technical officer one year diploma course in the uh, there are academics like uh, anglo eastern academy uh, the great eastern institute samundra institute tolani institute uh, and their exam takes place uh, two times every year one minute sorry sorry for this time. so uh, this electro technical officer exam is there and uh, they need only uh, the concepts of uh, basic concept they will ask they, that will be very very easier even uh, those uh, who have not uh, cracked the gate uh, they can also give and crack and get into select uh, get the uh, selection this uh, prestigious academies like anglo eastern academy and there uh, i think for one year they have the fees of uh, 3.5 lakhs including all your uh, hostel stuffs and uh, all your uh, tuition fees and all and uh, they will give you training for uh, 12 months out of this uh, 12 months there will be uh, two months or three months uh, theory classes 
and uh, after that theory classes for uh, 9 to 10 months uh, there will be practical training on the ship and uh, uh, while uh, there will be the training you will be given uh, the stipend there stipend of uh, 25 to 30000 per month so all the money you invest uh, in uh, the fees of this uh, academies uh, 3.5 lakhs or uh, 4 lakhs that will be re that will come back to you as a in the form of stipend and uh, uh, the salary packages uh, given in the this uh, institutes and academies are very much high they offer uh, the salaries like uh, 3 lakhs per month as a starting salary and uh, there is there is a lot of misconception uh, in uh, people in the minds of people that uh, you need to uh, stay 6 months in the sea and uh, 6 months uh, 6 months uh, on the land but but that's not the case you can uh, you can uh, stay 6 months uh, there uh, on the ship and uh, and you can manage your holidays according to yourself uh, that's not the case you need to uh, remain uh, you need to stay in the home for 6 months you can uh, stay in the home for uh, one month or two months you need to uh, give them uh, you, you need to notify that uh, i want to join at this this time uh, they will call you and you can join that but uh, and uh, there is also one of the good opportunities if you do uh, if you serve merchant navy uh, seven or eight years then you have opportunity to um, become the professor uh, who takes uh, the all these uh, all these uh, training of the ETOs for uh, one year, you can become the permanent professor in uh, one of the, these uh, institutes, Anglo Eastern Academy, the Great uh, Great Eastern Institute. I have uh, personally talked with uh, one of the Merchant Navy officer who is uh, now working as a professor. So uh, it's not like that. You need to uh, you need to live uh, 30 years or 35 years of uh, life uh, as a Merchant Navy officer, six months uh, six months away from your family. It's not like that. Uh, you can uh, do it for uh, six years, seven years, uh, like that. And uh, there are certain promotions also. So you need to, uh, after uh, serving there for uh, 10 years or uh, 11 years in the field, you can become uh, officer in the headquarters, uh, guiding them, the guiding the new ETOs about uh, how to operate. If uh, some there is some technical glitch, you you will be there to uh, make them understand. You will be there to clear uh, all th those things uh, related to technical glitch. So uh, there is good opportunity in Merchant Navy also. Next opportunity is uh, CDAC courses are there. CDAC courses are uh, available in a software domain and VLSI domain. Uh, you can do that and uh, grab the good good amount of packages there. Uh, from CDAC courses, the many companies do visit uh, in CDAC courses for placement, and uh, there is career opportunities in power plant. Many many people think that okay, uh, if I don't get placements uh, in four companies uh, after uh, in my campus placement, I will not be able to join uh, uh, my core company uh, in whole my life because uh, off campuses are very tough. Uh, off campus uh, selection is very tough. There is some uh, reference kind of thing, something something. But that is not the case because you can do one year diploma from uh, after completion of your uh, engineering. Uh, then they, they, they need the post engineering. They are, this is the post engineering diploma uh, from the Jindal Institute of Power Technology. There is a small exam uh, you need to give for the selection into this uh, institute. And that exam is not that much tough. Exam is really uh, very, very, uh, any anyone can crack that exam. Similar is the case with the Merchant Navy. Uh, very um, any person who is not getting anything but uh, he uh, he should be uh, cleared with these concepts uh, somewhat uh, that's necessary uh, same is the case in the general institute of power technology many people don't know that's why they don't apply and hence the competition is very less in gen uh, the exams of the general institute of power technology the same is the case with uh, uh, tata power also i i think there is a uh, institute uh, the tata power also on uh, so you can do one year diploma and uh, surely you will be getting a uh, job in uh, uh, jindal group itself <laughs> they will be giving you a job itself in jindal power jindal steel uh, as a electrical engineer and you can start with the uh, package of uh, 4 lakhs uh, 4.5 lakhs in core field where you want to work 
because uh, many people uh, don't want to go in a software domain they want to work uh, in a core domain also that's why it is the motivation for them uh, to study uh, for the competitive exam and uh, many stuffs they want this is the great opportunity to do a one year diploma course and there are uh, many other opportunities we know about off campus career opportunities there is a career section of the companies you can uh, post your resume just there ki what uh, i have done done this i have done this internship uh, like that i have these abilities if they want uh, if they um, think that your resume is good they may shortlist and uh, call you uh, uh, for uh, opportunity uh, in their uh, company and uh, you can use uh, references also because uh, many of us our alumni are uh, now working in uh, good companies good big organizations uh, now our alumni network is quite good so um, if uh, you can ask uh, uh, professor padil sir also if uh, him him me must have uh, the contacts of many uh, many of us uh, our alumni can uh, do the references also and you can join the core company of your dream uh, desire there are many uh, opportunities uh, uh, from uh, nokri.com shine.com uh, you can apply there also uh, there are many core companies you can uh, post your resume there you can apply there and there is freelancer.com also if you have any abilities of uh, you, if you know the coding if in, you if you are from a vlsi background uh, with some uh, hardware simulation uh, you can uh, do some uh, accounting uh, you know you have the ability of accounting you have the ability of uh, documentation then uh, the freelancer.com is also a very good opportunity you can start with and the uh, last option is the as an energy auditor energy auditor uh, it's uh, there is a B -B -W exam i think it's a bureau of energy efficiency it's a long form Uh, but it requires uh, some experience in the relative uh, field and related field uh, like uh, thermal field uh, power field steel field uh, in fine steel company like that you need uh, some experience of 2 uh, years or 3 years and uh, you can give the bwe exam after that after having the experience in industrial experience you can give the bwe exam and you can become uh, energy auditor uh, and work for uh, energy auditing company so it is uh, one of the great opportunities uh, as an uh, working as an energy auditor so uh, i uh, thank you all of uh, for listening me for uh, such long time and uh, uh, if you have any question uh, you can ask me thank you very much yes sir thank you sir for enlightening us with your kind words and also for being an ideal example of inspiration and motivation for all of us it was our pleasure for hearing hearing from you now to proceed with the program i would like to all the participant participate in question and answer session uh, you can ask your question in the chat box uh, so one of the question is from pratik sarav uh, he asked uh, what are the benefits of b uh, mtech over btech so uh, i will uh, tell that uh, the mtech uh, people uh, are generally uh, preferred uh, as compared to the btech people in iits or nits because uh, many of the uh, companies that visit in uh, uh, good institutes there they have some kind of attitude that uh, these uh, btech people they will uh, 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 leave companies within one or two years and they will go for uh, ms or uh, higher studies or uh, anything else uh, so they generally prefer uh, mtech students uh, or uh, btech students uh, in uh, uh, iits or nits uh, good nits uh, not all nits so uh, doing uh, benefit of uh, means uh, doing mtech uh, the probability of getting placed in uh, good institutes is uh, uh, damn high and uh, you will be given some uh, better packages in uh, as a uh, mtech student you will be given some uh, better package as compared to btech and if you are uh, doing your mtech in uh, csc field if you are from csc background uh, in csc field or uh, data science field or you are, uh, if you are doing your mtech in uh, micro electronics and vlsi field the many companies uh, like uh, nvidia intel uh, texas instrument 
offering a lot much of very big packages like uh, 20 lakhs, 22 lakhs. Uh, in uh, IIT Hyderabad, where I study, uh, for my branch, uh, uh, 18 lakhs is the average package. Uh, many VLSI companies, hardware design companies, uh, which visit here. Uh, so you can get a uh, very good package here uh, while uh, after doing MTech. So uh, I hope uh, I have cleared your doubt, of Pratik. Uh, the second question from him was, uh, why should a person uh, go for an MTech if he gets a job through campus placement? Okay, so uh, it's uh, your your desire. Uh, if uh, you are uh, satisfied with the uh, profile or uh, the job nature you have been given, if you are uh, satisfied with it, then uh, uh, and uh, if you don't have uh, ambition or uh, desire to st study further or uh, pursue higher education, then uh, it's uh, completely your choice. Uh, yeah, if you want to go for MTech, uh, then you can if you don't want to go for mtech that's uh, your choice one cannot uh, restrict you question from shubham was that uh, is it hard to get into vlsi field if you are an electrical student uh, okay uh, one minute uh, uh, saurabh one minute please yes Sorry, sorry. Uh, yes, uh, so he, he was telling that uh, is it hard for an electrical engineer to get into the VLSI field? Uh, so uh, it's uh, not quite hard because uh, 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 if you if you want to do uh, MTech in uh, microelectronics and VLSI, you are uh, you are doing MTech because you want a placement for sure. Uh, that's why you are doing, or you, you you really want to pursue higher education, or you want to contribute something in a, a research area. So that's why uh, everybody uh, do MTech. So um, uh, I want to tell uh, VLSI field. Uh, there are top 14 colleges. I will uh, uh, I will uh, list them down. Uh, IIST Bangalore, IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, IIT Madras, IIT Kanpur, IIT Kharagpur, IIT Hyderabad. Uh, all, all these are ranking wise, IIT Hyderabad, after that uh, IIT Rudki, IIT Guwahati, uh, IIT Varanasi, NIT Trichy, uh, NIT Suratkal, NIT Warangal. So uh, there are total uh, 14 institutes uh, according to placement wise. So um, uh, only 7 institutes allow electrical engineers uh, like IIT Madras allow, IIT Bombay allow, IIT Delhi allow, IIT Bangalore allow in one of its stream called integrated circuits. Then uh, Kanpur, Kharagpur, they don't allow uh, elect electrical people. They allow only electronics people. Uh, and then there comes uh, IIT Hyderabad. It allows uh, electrical people, electronics, instrumentation people. Then um, uh, your IIT Guwahati and IIT Rurki. They don't allow electrical people to sit, uh, means uh, to apply for a VLSI stream. Then NIT Trichy, it allows electrical students, but they have the separate groups, uh, group one and group two, uh, if you, uh, uh, register for CCMT uh, counseling of NITs. You will find their uh, group one and group two. Group one is for the some seats uh, out of uh, 32 seats. 20 seats are reserved for electronics people, and the remaining 12 seats are for electrical and instru people. Uh, those who are uh, in the group two. So uh, getting into NIT Trichy is uh, quite difficult uh, because uh, we are in the group two as from electrical engineering background. Then NIT Suratkal allows electrical engineer. And NIT Warangal does not allow electrical engineer. So it's quite uh, uh, difficult, but uh, not that much difficult. You can get into uh, NIT Trichy, NIT Suratkal, or uh, you can get into the Beach Pilani. Uh, BIT Vellore is also a very good college for a uh, VLSI field. So uh, for electrical people, uh, it's uh, not that much difficult. But many institutes will not allow. They, will, they allow only, only and only a gate EC. Okay, uh, one more question is from Shubham that uh, a person should go internship while he is preparing for a get uh, in third year or in fourth year. Third year or fourth year? Uh, that depends. Uh, if you if you want to go for, if you are uh, preparing for a gate exam and uh, 
you you are uh, you, that that will depend upon the attitude um, or uh, uh, the purpose you are preparing for if you are preparing for the uh, get to get into core industries uh, uh, then and if you are getting the internship in uh, core field itself uh, third year or final year and uh, they are also giving you the pre placement offer then it is not bad to join internship because uh, your uh, uh, purpose is getting satisfied itself uh, you don't need to uh, uh, prepare for uh, get if you want a, a job in the core field and uh, if you uh, want to go for higher studies or you want to uh, uh, or you are being offered a job in the different profile called IT uh, and you don't want, wish to work there then you don't need to uh, go for internship really Uh, one more question is regarding uh, how can a person manage gate preparation and coding in college? Uh, gate preparation as well as uh, coding. Actually, uh, I think I'm not uh, uh, that much. Uh, I'm not the suitable person to uh, uh, answer this question because uh, I didn't prepare for uh, coding along with uh, uh, preparation of gate exam during uh, engineering days, but. Uh, uh, surely uh, you can uh, uh, you can manage the time and uh, you can uh, prepare for uh, coding also for campus placements uh, along with the gate preparation uh, you need to uh, do some uh, you need to stretch yourself out of, out of the comfort zone uh, you need to devote some extra time uh, in uh, uh, for coding uh, coding practice also for uh, preparation of gate exam also uh, that's completely on the basis of uh, on, uh, on you that's uh, completely dependent upon you uh, yes. Uh, Vijayant want to ask uh, that uh, should a person from IT prepare for get CS and placement side by side or focus on only one path? Uh, uh, wh what did you say? Uh, can you please uh, repeat question? Uh, a, uh, there is a person from IT department. Okay. He is uh, uh, saying that if a person can go for uh, gate CS, uh, computer yeah. science in gate, and side by side placement, or should focus on any one of this? Uh, yeah. Uh, that uh, that's complete again completely dependent upon you because uh, uh, CSC depart CSC department, uh, electronics department, uh, instru and uh, production department. These are the um, one of the most oldest departments uh, uh, in our uh, college. And uh, they have created a lot many alumni uh, who have cleared the gate uh, in first attempt itself. In uh, uh, yesterday only, I talked with one person. Uh, uh, he's a final year uh, final year student. He, he got into the NIT Warangal Computer Science. Uh, so he was uh, placed in a very good uh, company also, and he did. Uh, in, uh, he just now. Uh, he just now. Uh, uh, completed his uh, registration of all uh, NIT Warangal CSE. So uh, you can prepare for uh, gate exam also because uh, in uh, companies uh, they need they will ask you uh, technical questions only, technical questions and uh, coding. So um, uh, preparing gate will he uh, only help you in uh, getting selected in uh, uh, companies, uh, IT companies. So that will not be problem. Uh, you can easily do that. Uh, you can uh, prepare for uh, coding also. Uh, you, you can prepare for uh, placements and uh, can prepare for a gate exam that that's all going in one direction and uh, the uh, preparation of gate exam uh, is going to help you uh, the final uh, career opportunities okay, final question that we will take is uh, regarding uh, a person wants to ask that what is the job uh, means what kind of work has to be done when you are in BLS cycle? So uh, in, uh, I'm uh, currently in my f first year of uh, uh, MTech in microelectronics and BLS. Eh? So uh, uh, we are uh, we are having uh, hardware description languages uh, called the uh, Verilog and uh, VHDL. The Verilog is more industry related language, and uh, we need to uh, prepare some logic for hardware design. That's why uh, we have 50% of uh, coding in Verilog and 50% is the, uh, once you have created the logic in Verilog, you need to implement that uh, in uh, the hardware, hardware simulation you need to do. 
and uh, design the hardware uh, actually so mm, there is 50% uh, verilog coding and uh, 50% is uh, about all about uh, simulation uh, testing uh, means uh, you will be having some uh, kits uh, you need to design a uh, you need to prepare hardware like a circuit or something yeah, like that i hope uh, i have cleared the uh, uh, answer, uh, question Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, now I would like to invite faculties to share their view on the first lecture of Roja Toxics. Yeah, hi. Uh, Rushikesh, uh, Saurabh. Thanks for organizing uh, and coordinating the, uh, for this Urja Talk series. And Prasad, thank you very much for uh, spending time with us. And yes, definitely the, your pleasure, presentation, sir. your thoughts uh, would add more value in students' community and to our institute also. Uh, we are glad to you ha uh, have you. And we are looking forward to have more uh, such sessions in future also. So thank you very much, Prasad. We'll be in touch. Yes, sir. It's my pleasure to talk with all of you. Uh, I'm th thank thankful to all of you for giving me an opportunity uh, to talk uh, in front of you. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. So, Chandan sir is here. If uh... yes, good morning to all. Uh, first of all, congratulations to Prasad. Thank you, sir. Yes, your hard work, dedication had paid off because I know you right from the first year of engineering, you are a hard worker and smart worker. And yes, this is a good uh, example and lesson to all the students, whatever the Prasad had presented. So his presentation and explanation shows his sheer experience, which he has gathered from his learning implementation. And the most important fact, the point Prasad has mentioned is the comfort zone. Until unless you don't come up out of your comfort zone, you will not get succeed. This is the important thing. So Prasad, all the best for your future endeavors and the future journey. Yes, we will be happy, thank more you. happy to see you grow more. Okay. Yes, and, uh, thank you Rishikesh and Saurabh for this coordination management and organization. And uh, thank you all. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir, for your wonderful speech. We gained a lot from it. We certainly believe that many of us have been inspired by you today. Hello. Hi. Yes, yes. Uh, you can announce the speaking. next session will be on uh, working Saturday. So we, uh, it's the 11th of September, I think. So those, those uh, who are yes, present, sir. you can uh, tell them. Yes, sir. Uh, so in this way, we can we are going to continue our Urja Talk series. Our next session will be on 11th September at the same timing. Uh, maybe the guest or uh, uh, the guest will be decided soon, and we will be informed you by messages or mail. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you, Prasad. Thank you very much, sir. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you, Rushiket, Saurabh, yes. Thank and you, sir, all. all the audiences. Thank you.